Oh. Oh, it's time. Jonathan. Hey, dear. Hey. Hey. How's it going? Great. Good. 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 Good, good stuff. Good. Good. Just stop. Uh, one, one, one second, right, yep, and then, need to change shirts, too. Oh, I need an intro. Y'all didn't warn me, I was unprepared. I know it's been a long week, but, oh. You wonder if you could've tuned my day up? One of, hey, wasn't expecting that, uh, that, that countdown after the countdown to go so fast, die out. What do I got here? Uh, just, um, just, 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 there's so many. There's like, um, that's that's a shame. Okay, well, I we're just here for. A Christmas bag. That sounds like an intro. Miyake Sakurano June K. Nathan Karatoshi Reika Tomioka Eric E Atiko Aishi Kagami Shinami Fanny 21 Yuno Yorigami Riko Yorokobi Naoko Kitani Koharu Mujihi Yoko Najima Duo Amani D O Stick Apollo Elorus Akira Kiyoshi Nakamura Shall move Smash 14 Faith Strange Kino Koseki Kujo Minoru Emilia Haruto Kato Kira Mayrin Kano Satsushi Shota Thunder Fukami Today's Finale Friday Good Day Good People Tune Day End your United States A Theater. It has been a long time coming. We have made it to the tail end of 2020. We have had OC after OC after OC do battle. And now, 28 of them are here to fight for the OC Championship in the OC finale episode of Don Kanarapa Hunger Games. That took a hot second. Hey, how you doing? Live chat, I know this one's a premiere. I know, how y'all doing? I wanna see it. I wanna see how you, you better tell me how you doing. It's time. We're not gonna dilly and dally too much, but I am so proud of all the OCs who are here. Many made it by getting it through to the top six. Some of them made it via the Light Bearer, the one Light Bearer OC to make it into that, uh, the top six. 
Apollo, congratulations to him, and to Akira Kiyoshi and Xiaomu for making it. But we'll, we'll, we'll get right into that, because even though we know who's here, let's see who's here. In District 1, Miyake and June. District 2, we have Nathan and Reika. District 3, we have Eric and Atiko. District 4, our light bearers. Interesting, right? Kagami and Fanny. District 5, we have Yuno and Riko. District 6, we have Naoko, and we have Koharu. District 7, we have Yoko and Duo. District 8, we have D.O. Stick, and we have Apollo. District 9, we have Akira, and we have Kiyoshi. District 10, we have Xiaomu, and we have Faith. District 11, Kino, and suddenly a redesigned Kujo. District 12, we have Amelia, and we have Haruto. District 13, we have Kira, and we have Meiren. And lastly, in District 14, we have Setsushi. And, via the secret episode, we have Shota. Or Thunder. And as we see that everyone is here and has a gracefully had some fantastic water, who do you got? First, second, and third. I'm gonna jinx some babies real quick. Live chat, y'all jinx them too. And by jinx, I mean pick first, second, and third. Because who's ever right with the immediate first, second, and third pick? And in the comments, you guys do it too after you like and subscribe because that's what we do to support these OCs. And make sure to check out their report cards as well. They should maybe be linked in the description below. Um, it is time. Oh, where's- okay, I do have the die. Okay, I'm just making sure everything's set, because we are gonna go soon. We're about to crown your first ever OC champ. Make sure. Also, your top 12, keep in mind, that's what you're really rooting for. The top 12 will go on, and they will become- or they will solidify their spots in the OC premiere in Season 7, because Season 7 will have the same general OC format that we had this season, because I think it worked out very well. So, if one of the light bearers wins, and the same thing will happen for the singles and tag teams next week. If they get kills, those kills will also go to the premieres, respectively. So are you ready for me to pick? <coughs> I got Apollo winning. He brought three people here with him. I think he's got this in the bag. I got Thunder for second, because it makes sense. And <laughs> I've got it. Uh, give me June. June for third. That's what I'm feeling today. That's what I'm feeling. Live chat, what are you feeling? Who are you feeling for the victory? But more importantly, who are you? How are you feeling for today? <laughs> how was your Friday? It is the... Oh, it's a week until Christmas. Oh. Cool. <laughs> I hope you guys are ready for it then. Because we will have a... Maybe a premiere that day. I'll probably... I'm not going anywhere, so I'll probably be ready. I'll probably be around. I don't think we can dilly and I don't think we can dally. I think it's just time to go ahead. Let's stop that for a second. I'm gonna reach over here. What is... What is this? Oh! I guess I should've known! Let's go ahead. Let's roll this thing. Let's roll this bad boy. Three. No dilly and dally. We're just rolling a three this time. Which is... Rule of three. Rule of three. So this might be... A fantastic, it's not the perfect vibe, it's not the spiciest of RNG, but it's gonna be some good RNG as we re-simulate. Not just one time, not just twice, but for RNG's sake, we re-simulate thrice. Are you ready? I think you have to be. 28 competitors walk in, one will walk out with a title. Who will it be? Let's go ahead and see. Let's proceed to the bloodbath. And late- oh, that is a shame, Yoko. Oh no, oh, that's a shame, but... I can't dilly and I can't dally. I have to look over there to the live chat and I say you better spam the horn- Spam the horn emojis. I'm talking Makoto. I'm talking Rantaro. I'm talking Sato. I'm talking Maya. Any- any horn emoji that you can find that represents- Represents, make sure you sound them as we sound! The horns! Oh, you know what else I want to ask? 
Do we play Samurai Woman or not? Because this simulator is now famous for dodging Samurai Woman. Well, let's get things started. Yoko gets carried away, I'm sorry, and challenges Monokuma. In response, Monokuma rips her in half. That is a violent start. Dio comes into the arena to capture Satsushi, a dangerous killer that escaped from an insane asylum. Okay, Nathan runs away from the cornucopia, so does Kagami. Yo, you know, takes a spear from inside of the cornucopia. Oh. Duo finds the silver trumpet inside of the cornucopia. She plays it tremendously. As she sounds the horns. Okay. Duo, welcome to the horn bears. Who would have thunk? Precision accuracy by the robotic dog to play these horns, sounding the horns? I appreciate every last second of it. Mayron tries to explain to Monokuma that there's been a mistake and that he isn't supposed to be here. Amelia rides, arrives to the lodge riding a reindeer. How festive. Thunder comes oh, comes riding into the games on a rare mont, making Kino and Atiko jealous. Rico is what I just saw. Bashes Kujo's head with a mace. Kujo, oh no. Wait. Faith also finds a silver trumpet in the cornucopia. She plays it tremendously as she sounds the horns. Well, we can't have two silver trumpets up in here. Let's stop the horn sounding. Whichever one of- This is the real battle that's going on. Whichever one of you makes it further earns the right to be called the horn bearer. So y'all watch out for Duo and y'all watch out for Faith because one of them will become a horn bearer. Kiyoshi tries to explain to Monokuma that there's been a mistake and that he isn't supposed to be there. Kira and Reika agree to kill each other last. Apollo sets off a bomb killing E, Koharu, Miyake, and June. Oh no. Akira finds a book titled Takukaruto. That's a shame. But that's my boy. I had him with the, I had him with the pick. A guy to kill. Haruto is both horrified and amazed at the level of detail. Xiaomu and Naoko fight for a bag. Naoko gives up and retreats. Fanny clutches a first aid kit and runs away as we proceed. To day one. Duo and Xiaomu split up to search for resources. Rico, Faith, Thunder, and Kino hunt for other tributes. Apollo receives medical splash from another sponsor. Kagami Shinami dies from hypothermia. Rest in peace. Kyoshi is pricked by thorns while hunting um now while, hunt, now while hunting berries. You know what? You're hunting berries. I believe in that. We hunt berries now yonder these parts. Nathan diverts Mayron's attention and runs away. Amelia asks Atiko oh, oh wait. For as for Atiko's Oxalotl, Atiko gets confused. I am too. We do we don't have those in the arena, I don't think. Fanny steps on a Lego brick wall barefoot and dies. That is a light bear out of here. Oh. Oh my, Kira, Haruto, Akira, Reika, Yuno, and Dio play a round of Russian Roulette. Reika wins. Reika, oh my gosh. What was this round? Satsushi sets up an ice cream shack. Naoto comes and buys some. It was delicious. We'll proceed. We lost 13. We almost lost half of the competition. There's 15 people remaining. As we, as we had a clear day loon for. Yoko. Kujo. E. Koharu. Miyake. June. Kagami. Fanny. Kira. Haruto. Akira. Yuno. Dio Stick. And with 15 remaining, the next three that are out will unfortunately not make it to the Season 7 premiere, but everyone also has another opportunity to fight for the titles. As we see everybody's status is District 1's out, District 2 completely in, and Reika with 5 KOs thanks to Russian Roulette. District 3 has Atiko, District 4 is completely out, so nobody's getting brought in via the Light Bearers. District 5 has Rico. District 6 with Naoko. District 7, potential Hornbearer duo. Yes, potential, because Faith is still alive. District 8 still has Apollo with 4 KOs, Kyoshi would remain in as a pacifist for District 9, Amelia in District 12, Kino in District 11, District 10 completely in with Xiaomu and Faith, the potential light bearer Faith, Meirin in District 13, and 14 completely in as well with Satsushi and Thunder. For some reason I thought Satsushi was dead, but it was just Dio Stick coming to capture her. 
but sh he failed, so Satsushi might take- I wouldn't be surprised, it would be fitting if Satsushi ended up with like, 8 KOs. <laughs> Dangerous killer. <laughs> Deostick wasn't lying. We have 15 left though. Five more until you're saving grace picks. But knowing this simulator, we're probably about to lose 10 people, and we're gonna immediately jump to the, 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 um, the crisis of fate. But we'll see. We'll see. As we proceed, that was also a lot of people for such a small game, and for there to be no arena event or no feast in that cluster, so that's crazy to me. Y'all are just really fighting for the title, and you know what? I respect it. So let's go ahead, and let's proceed to night one. Mayron finds an Etch-A-Sketch somehow. After a few hours, they create a masterpiece. Nathan receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Uh-oh. And that's the three gone. Xiaomu is plagued by reoccurring nightmares. Rico sets off an explosive killing Apollo, Satsushi, and Kino, which means everyone else who's left all make it for retribution. They will all be they will be the first twelve who are placed into the OC season six premiere. Dio sets up an outdoor generator, space heater, and floodlights totally ready for any, win for any winter storm that might happen via a an arena event or anything. Kyoshi, Naoko, Atiko, and Thunder hang up their stockings on the fireplace before sitting around reminiscing as they take in the warmth. Throughout the night, the entire night, Reika tells Amelia a bunch of useless fun facts. Fun fact for you. A, a, a bees? Make honey. Faith tries. <laughs> that's not really a fun fact, but hey, it's, it's a, that's just a theory, actually. Faith tries to teach herself or tries to sing herself to sleep as we proceed. We have 12 left. I don't think anyone else perished as we go on. Some more people will perish because the, the, the feast is here. And now that I look at this, as the feast is replenished with food, weapons, memoirs, and stuff from the Tribute's families, Thunder and Shamu get into a fight over Rami, but Thunder gives up and runs away. Nathan snaps Faith's neck, which means Duo will indeed be the horn bearer. Congratulations to her as Naoko decides not to attend the feast, but there will be not many congratulations because Mayron severely slices Duo with a sword. It was so close, Faith. He almost had it. Duo, congratulations to you, though. Robot. Ro uh, Rico, what is up with you and explosions? Calm down, girl! As Rico sets off an explosive, killing Atiko and Kiyoshi, Reika and Amelia decide to work together to get more supplies. Now, we still have a day to get through. I don't know if we are going to get a... a a samurai woman. I'm worried. I think we might get it. I want it to happen. Let's see if it does happen. It's day two. Oh, there's no dust. We get to hear samurai woman. Nathan was being a clown. Naoko drinks some cocoa to stay warm. Xiaomu searched for a water source. This one scared me because I was like, she just killed all of them. But no, Amelia starts a cult. Thunder, Mayrin, Reika, and Rico happily join. Ladies and gentlemen. Unless there's an arena event, in which case, screw me. For a hot second, I thought there was. We lost seven. Seven are gone, which means we are at your final eight. Which means after, thank goodness, there's a Claire de Lune four. Apollo. Satsushi. Kino. Faith. Duo. Atiko. Kiyoshi. Everyone after Kino, as we have eight people left, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th. Faith downward, so Faith, Duo, Atiko, Kiyoshi, and everyone who's left will be in the OC Season 7 premiere, so congratulations to them. But for right now, it's not about the premiere. For right now, it's about crowning a champion as we see everybody's statuses. I don't need to tell you the kills. You can see them right there. I just need to tell you the trip picks might not have done so well. You know what happens when your picks don't do so well and you want to make some new picks? You can make them because I let you get a nice little pick. And that pick is called a Saving Grace Pick. Your Saving Grace Picks are Nathan, Reika, Rico, Naoko, Xiaomu, Amelia, Mayrin, and Thunder. One of these eight will be your first Danganronpa Hunger Games OC Champion. They all will have a chance to fight for the title again at the start of Season 7 along with 12 other OCs. How they will be determined, I don't know, and one of them may 
will in fact be your OC, your first ever OC Agent of Chaos, since it's the one year anniversary of Agents of Chaos coming up. I can't believe we've had Agents of Chaos for a whole year, that's nuts. I can't believe we've been doing this for so long, if I'm being completely honest, but you know what? It is what it is, so let's keep on keeping on. We got your final eight. Tell me, in the live chat, in the comments, who do you got? First, second, third, as you make sure, 100%, if you haven't hit the like button, you better hit the like button. Even if you're just having a chill time, you better hit the like button. Or or else everyone perishes and no one wins. And you don't want that to happen. If it happens and you didn't hit the like button, it was your fault. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I gotta make some picks. And I don't want to- I don't really feel bad about jinxing anyone right now. I don't. Because everyone else will have another opportunity to fight. So give me Nathan for first. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll say admittedly, I had a gut feeling for Nathan. At the start of this thing, I got Nathan for first. Give me, oof. I also had a gut feeling for Amelia. But I'm feeling Nathan too. So give me Nathan for first, Thunder for second because it's Thunder, and ultimate second place, and give me Amelia for third. I, I'm honestly very happy with the final eight who are here. All of them, everyone who was here in fact, could have been worthy OC champions, some perished far too soon, some will have another opportunity to fight again. But most importantly, it feels good because we don't get to do this very often in this simulator. And it is a championship match, so I can say the Nathan. Reika? Rico. Naoko. Xiaomu. Amelia. Meirin. And Thunder all have their hearts beating strong. Their pulses increase verily. It is time. There, hot, we, 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 we switch them up to the monitor, we type in the little things, and we, we say, oh, pull up the heartbeat, and it doesn't give me a number for some reason, it only reads Samurai Woman. It's your final eight. One of them will be the champ. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's proceed. Tonight too, Naoko makes a makeshift bed out of fallen leaves. Thunder tried to set a trap, but unfortunately ends up trapping himself. Reika manages to tame a polar bear for a pet. That should come in handy. That's nuts. Nathan and Rico discuss if that's a big stone. If that big stone is a boulder or a rock. Amelia and Xiaomu fight off a pack of possessed snowmen, and Mayron buys the deed to a house. Now he can have parties every week, baby. <laughs> We'll proceed. Your final eight are all still in. They had a chill day today. But well, they, well, they had a chill night that night, but do they have a chill day today? Amelia makes the most of the occasion and puts a mistletoe anywhere she sees fit. It's fine for you to do that. Mayron plays a violin and begins to play it horribly, actually. Much to uh, Rico's frustration, Reka Thunder and Nathan rage each other downhill on snowboards. Xiaomu searches for firewood, and while climbing a mountain, Naoko is buried alive by an avalanche. We only lost one. Unfortunately. You gotta feel for her. I love her design, I'll be completely honest. And she will be back to fight again. But can we get... A terrible turnabout. Piano style. Four. Naoko. Perished via avalanche. I tell you what, it's a horrible way to go. But she will be back. As we say everybody's status is your final seven, your lucky seven. Nathan, Reka, Rico. Xiaomu, Amelia, Marin, Thunder. All still going strong. All still hard to beat and fast. I gotta, I gotta savor this. I really do have to savor this because we don't get to hear Samurai Woman often and I know the game's about to take it away from me. <laughs> so let's just, just for like five seconds, let's drink it in. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's proceed. Two... Night three. I knew it. It's time for things to come to a screeching halt. Amelia strangles Amelia. I'm sorry. Xiaomu strangles Amelia with a rope. Rest in peace to Amelia. Rico finds a secret stash of pancakes that AV hypothetically hinted at. That's. I not. That's no. Mm, that's not mine. I just. Perchance, hypothetically, it was there. Hypothetically. Rico receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Thunder finds an etch sketch somehow. It ends up breaking in frustration. 
Nathan still and Marin discussing if that big stone is a rock or a boulder. It's just... I guess that kind of almost fits the ultimate uh, psychiatrist, but we'll proceed. We're at your final six. When we get down to your final five, we might not. As Nathan glares at Reika and says, Do you want to die? Reika runs away. Thunder, Mayron, Rico, and Xiaomu uh, hunt for other tributes. We only lost one. The, the simulator's just given me so much samurai woman today, and I will take it. I will take it and run. But unfortunately, the ultimate comedian is down. Can we get a terrible turnabout for Amelia? It's your final six. It is Nathan, it is Reika, it is Rico, it is Xiaomu. It is Mayron and it is Thunder. One of them will be your first ever OC champion. Reiko with five KOs, Rico with six, Nathan with one, Xiaomu with one, Thunder with none could pull off the pacifist victory, and Mayron also with one. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Samurai Woman time. Still, I'm freaking out, but we'll go ahead. We'll proceed. Are you prepared? Are you ready? Are you set? Are you ready to go? Let's do it. It is night four. At the start of night four, everyone's still vibing. Thunder, Mayron, and Rico sleep in shifts. Nathan delivers an intense motivational speech to Xiaomu and Reika, inspiring them to give their all in these games as we proceed. Xiaomu tells Thunder that she is a cardboard clone of Xiaomu created by Avi. Oh no! My my secrets! Oh no! My cardboard creations have gone too far. What have I become? Rico scares Reka off. Marin wants a way out of this arena for Christmas. You might not find it. Oh, and Nathan accidentally detonates a landmine while trying to arm it. We have your final five, but unfortunately it comes at the cost of one. That one was one of my picks, unfortunately, so it might have been a jinx. But hey, you know what? Nathan will be back at the start of Season 7 to fight again for the OC title, but for right now, we'd have to give a terrible turnabout for the boy who may have been jinxed by me. Nathan. Cause my guts were all wrong, apparently. Amelia's gone, <laughs> Nathan's gone, Thunder's still in, could still get second place. I still see that happening. It's gotta happen at least once. We'll see everybody's statuses. We're down to your final five. We've been waiting for it. It was start it started off so Nutty, it was 100 miles per hour, now we are slowly, one by one, dwindling everyone down. But we know in a heartbeat that could all change. But I can say for certain that Reika, Rico, Xiaomu, Mayron, and Thunder, one of them will be your first ever OC champion. And more importantly, those five are all still caught. They are all finally caught in a crisis of fate. Are you ready? because I'm ready. Let's go ahead. Let's proceed to night five and let's see what unfolds. At the start of night five, Marin dresses up as Reiko but breaks out in Cospox. <laughs> Reiko laughs. Rico, uh, Xiaomu, and Thunder play a game of Monopoly. Rico loses all of her properties and flips the game board over. It was probably a long game too. You probably played all night as we go on to day six. Thunder creates his own superhero identity and enlists Reiko as his sidekick. Rico runs into a yeti in the forest, but manages to escape a stampede of reindeer. Oh, we lost two. A stampede of reindeer tramples Xiaomu to death, and Marin bleeds out to due to untreated injuries. That is a shame. We lost two as we proceed. Yes, it's just two gone. It's, I always have to double check because we have not had an arena event yet, so it's in the back of my head. That could pop off immediately. <laughs> never, you're never safe. We are down to your final three. It is Rico, it is Reka, and it is Thunder, ladies and gentlemen. We'll quiet that down. Because for these two, they will be back to fight for that OC title. They placed very well today. Getting this far is truly an accomplishment, but it is still a terrible turnabout for... Xiaomu. Mayron. And as we see everyone's statuses, we have Reka who placed... Interestingly enough, both of these folks placed in fourth place in their games, Reika in fourth, Rico in fourth, and they are now the highest killers of this game. Thunder has none. No KOs. He was placed in via finding the secret episode, and he could win this one. Could that be it? I don't know if anyone placed in during the secret episode has ever won a game, now that I think about it. Alright! 
That might be interesting. Let's go ahead. Because I can still say that it is Rika. It is Rico. And it is Thunder. In a crisis of fate. I'm sorry. In a crisis of fate. There we go. Interestingly enough, I could have to change this music. It's only three left. One event could take out two folk. Who will it be? I don't know yet. I don't have to ask that yet, but I will proceed to the next round, and we will see. Thunder signs a petition to change American football to Yeet Ball. Re uh, Reka tries to treat her infection, and Rico quietly hums we are down to still your final three. Nobody perished, but as we click on to day seven, nobody perishes again. Reka receives a hatch from an unknown sponsor. Thunder sets up an ice cream pack. Rico comes along and buys some. It was delicious as we proceed. There are no people gone. We will go to night seven. Thunder, Reka, and Rico start fighting. Reka runs away as Thunder kills Rico. That's his first KO. I have to. We don't. This is gonna end. This is gonna end. It's a battle between Thunder and Reka. And I have to ask you guys who will it be? It makes sense for Reka to win this one. It is all but written in destiny for Reka to win this one because Thunder has to get second place. He is the ultimate second place. That is just, that's just, that's written, that's destiny. He has to get second. I called it from the get go. Second place is like a win for him, right? I know he hates it. He, I'm sure he wants this championship gold, but I can't see anyone other than Reka at this point in time. But maybe you do. So I have to ask you. Who will it be? Thunder. Reka. Thunder. Reka. Thunder. Reka. Live chat? I know you were calling it. You've already called it. If you're gonna call it, keep calling it. Call it down in the comments, too. I, I think it has to be Reka, but it also could be Thunder. I don't know who it's gonna be. I've asked you who it's gonna be, and now it's time to find out who it is. Will Thunder be your first OC champion, or will Reka be your first OC champion? As we proceed, it becomes clear that... Thunder uses a cactus to kill Reka. There it is. I have no words. But I can I can go ahead. And I can click proceed. This is the story. This is how it went. We lost two. Ladies and gentlemen. First of all, a terrible turnabout for Rika. Rika. Who will try and outdo their performance from this episode and try and grasp the title at the very start of season seven however that is the future that is what awaits beyond the horizon but in this year of the horizon i can tell you that as we proceed that your winner from district 14 the ultimate Second place has taken a victory. When the odds almost guaranteed that it would be a second place. Instead, he takes the gold, the first ever championship gold. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and your first ever. Don Gon Rapa Hunger Games OC Champion Thunder takes the win. You can't be mad at that. 
That's all she wrote. Congratulations to Thunder, right there at the end. You, he was quiet the whole game, and you know what? The last two kills he got were the most important two kills. They were the last two kills of the game. He was out there with the two heavy hitters this game. In fact... Yo, that's crazy. That's something we actually don't see all that often at all. Apart from Apollo, only the top six people got KOs. That's wild. That's awesome, and Apollo gets four KOs like he did the uh, in his, uh, his episode. That's crazy. Congratulations to Thunder, your OC champion. And he will defend that title against Reika, Rico, Marin, Xiaomu, Nathan, Amelia, Naoko, Kiyoshi, Atiko, your Hornbearer duo, and Faith Strange. As well as 12 other OCs. How will those be decided? I'm not quite certain yet, but I'll figure it out. I have ideas. I do have some pretty good ideas too. But that's that. Congratulations to them and major congratulations to Thunder. Shota Thunder Fukami. That's all she wrote. That's it. That's the close of this game. Oh man, you know what really feels awful though? Right at the end, or right at the beginning, we lost two of the people who won their OC games. That is bad RNG. I hope to see them both back, because I do enjoy both of those characters a lot. I enjoyed all the characters over here. All the characters who were submitted even. So thank you, first of all, for submitting. Because without this, without your submissions, this episode wouldn't have existed. Four episodes this season wouldn't have existed. So thank you. From the bottom of my heart. I think we can, I think we can go on. I think we can just proceed. I think we gotta go, in fact, let me go through. I like to, um, if you've noticed, I do like to go through all the OCs. I usually go through the top 10, but then I continue, during the OC episodes, I try and read all the way through. So we had Kino in 13th, Satsushi in 14th, Apollo in 15th, Dio Stick in 16th, Yuno in 17th, Akira in 18th, Haruto, then Kira, then Fanny 21, and Kagami Shinami, the light bears right next to each other there too. June in 23rd, Miyake, oh man, in 24th. It's really all the, yeah, the four winners, Kagami, Miyake, Kujo, and Yoko, all in the bottom few. That's a shame, that sucks for them. Hopefully, I do want to see, I, I would like to see all of them again. We'll see, they might submit new OCs, they might, their owners might submit new OCs, we might see, we might see. Um... They also might be a part of the, um, Ages of Chaos episode, I don't know. Oh, they could. Oh, that's interesting. Alright, we'll continue. Because <laughs> I have ideas in my head, and I was like, oh, wait, some of them do qualify for that. Um, what are we doing? What are we at? Yes. June, Miyake, Koharu, Eric, Kujo, and Yoko. As we proceed. It started off with Yoko getting carried away, challenging Monokuma, got snatched in half, Thunder using a cactus to win this whole thing, congratulations. He didn't use gum, he used a cactus. Good on Thunder. Good on the champ, the OC champ, as we proceed to the stats. Rico. Usually a heavy hitter in these games. Hit heavy. Six KOs. Reika with five, Apollo with four. Thunder with two, the two that he needed to win. Mayron with one, Nathan with one, and Shalmu with one. As we go back to the reaping. There's a lot who made it. We know who's going on to Season 7's OC. Premiere. This is it. That's it. We don't need to dilly-dally anymore. I can take the jacket off until Christmas Eve. When the tag teams do battle. And on Christmas Day, when the singles competitors do battle, are you ready for that? You better get ready. There also be, there might be one extra episode. I haven't decided yet. It all depends on how much time I have. <laughs> Completely honest. Whew. All right, that's it. That's awesome. This was great. I enjoyed this. Hopefully you enjoyed it too. Once again, major claps in the live chat for Thunder. Thunder. They say lightning doesn't strike. Twice. 
Well, this is thunder. And thunder can strike as many times as it wants because it's a sound. Ladies and gentlemen, stay classy. Year of the Horizon. Until next week. Or sooner. We might have something special. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not entirely certain yet. <laughs> we might. If something pops up at Randy, we're like, oh, question mark? Just because I want to have a little fun. And I have the time for it. But if not, we'll see you on Thursday. Stay classy. Year of the Horizon. Toodaloo. Blake Thanks for watching.